Football has always been closely associated with various injuries that prevent players from achieving better results or from simply enjoying their game. Among the huge list of injuries sustained on the pitch, we have identified the top 5 most common ones that football players face in their careers at least several times. Subscribe to Football Geeks and let's geek them out! Number 5. Thigh Muscle Strain One of the most common injuries that professional footballers sustain is a thigh injury, namely its back or its front muscles. With insufficient warming up and heavy loads, the thigh muscles can suffer a sudden strain, which is often accompanied by pain, redness and swelling. Such an injury can lead to a lot of complications, as a thigh is a complex group of muscles that is responsible for flexing the leg at the knee and for extending it at the hip joint. At the same time, any thigh injury can cause nerve fibers damage. Depending on the specific case and the correctness of treatment, recovery from such injuries can take from two days and up to half a year. Number 4. Torn or injured meniscus A meniscus is a cartilage tissue that acts as a shock absorber in the joint and stabilizes the knee. Such injuries often occur when football players get in contact with each other. After meniscus suffers from damage, it becomes difficult to bend the knee, a tumor may appear on the damaged area, and there may be clicks in the knee when bending. The inner lateral ligament is damaged together with the meniscus. This injury does not always require a surgery and may be healed through conservative treatment and physical therapy. Recovery period can take from 15 days to several months. Number 3. Ankle strains or fractures Ankle dislocation or fracture is another type of common injuries among football players. Usually, the ankle is turned inside, which causes damage to the lateral ligaments. Such seemingly minor injuries can have long-term consequences, especially if you do not treat them correctly. The ankle strains can also lead to syndesmosis tear, the rupture of the fibrous joint between the ankle bones where an ankle is attached. If the torn syndesmosis is not matched, then an ankle stability cannot be regained in full. In most cases, recovery after spraining will take two months with conservative treatment. In case of a fracture, the full recovery and post-surgery rehabilitation will need up to six months. Number 2. Anterior cruciate ligament tear This injury is one of the most unpleasant for athletes, after which many end up with a career or never regain their previous form. The anterior cruciate ligament is the main intraarticular stabilizer of a new joint. Most often, a rupture occurs in two cases – sharp twisting or side impact. As soon as this happens, a characteristic crunch is hurt. In addition, the ligament tear can be obtained due to an unsuccessful landing or fall. Zlatan Ibrahimovic suffered such an injury in April 2017 in a match against Anderlecht. Unfortunately, any case of a cruciate ligament injury will require an operative treatment. As a rule, the recovery period takes about 6 to 9 months. Number 1. Groin strains If a training cycle is not built correctly, then the players are subjected to higher risk of groin muscle strains. As a rule, such injuries occur due to the damage to the inguinal ring, through which the nerve fibers pass. The rupture of the ring leads to the constant irritation of the nerves that pass through it. The symptoms of this injury are rather acute. The athlete usually feels a sharp pain in the groin and bruises and swelling appear on the damaged area. Groin strains, depending on their severity, can be treated differently, from simple rest and compresses to surgical interference. Mild groin pulls can take up to 10 days to recover. In the more severe cases, like the complete tear of the muscle, the footballer will need from 1 to 2 months to recover. Top clubs invest a lot of funds into hiring competent medical staff. Correct diagnosis is vital. If a chief doctor mistakenly allows a player to continue playing, this may lead to drastic consequences. We hope that this episode has provided you with a better understanding of possible side effects of professional sports. Subscribe to Football Geeks and suggest your own topics for future releases in the comments. We will see you soon. Oh,